Okay. I'll bite. So, this is it. This is my 5x5 underground only, with no weapons. Now, that comment was left on my last video for the 5x5, and at first I was gonna go, nah, that's not possible. I can't do any repairs either, and I can't use any of the traps and dart traps, and then I had a thought about it, think about it, and I thought, you know what? You know what? I'll bite. I'll bite. I think I could do that. You didn't say I couldn't do cheese, so uh, here it is. Here's my 5x5, so if I just step down here you will see that my base goes all the way down to bedrock and let me just show you the constructions of the base so like i said before everything is five by five and everything here if i just open my interface here this is half blocks and this is half blocks all the way around there are some like half corner blocks as well and because the outer block is the fifth block this makes the internal space three by three which means that i can actually put plates next to this block right here and it's supported i don't need to do anything fancy i don't need to put any poles in like that it just supports itself so this whole entire middle column is being suspended because it's attached to the side walls and then if we go inside here you can see that i've put in like a um what do you call it? like arched thin window trim or whatever it's called i can't remember what it's called now uh, and then up here is a ladder and then up here is just another hatch leading to the outside world now i'm gonna start in here but if you really wanted to take this di uh, design you could just take this like put a roof on it or something like that make a platform that you can jump across and like put a hatch in it or something like that just just to make it a little bit easier for you but for this challenge it has to be within five by five and as nasty as this looks i literally just put iron spikes uh, around the edge here like that just to suspend it but yeah, so that's the challenge, is just to do the same like night settings before. It is set to 64, insane, and everything here is made out of concrete as well. So I'm just going to sit here and just let Horde Knight commence. So let's get out of God Mode and uh, let's just stack it out for uh, Day 168 Horde. Here they come, we're about to begin. And uh, I'm, for this, I'm just going to come out of camera uh come into camera mode here so we can see so we already have demos straight away goes all the way down to the bottom and i don't care at the bottom what whatever they want to do down here is up to them if they want to dig out they can do i don't really care it's bedrock right and if we just go right to the top here we're just gonna let them all come in just all fall in and as you can see it's working like a charm they just like they have no idea how to get to me there's no path the gap is wide enough that they don't actually, you know, try and smack the block or anything like that. This is as cheesy as you as you can get. Talk about like suspended bases. This is how you do a suspended underground base. So we're just gonna let them all funnel in until they stop spawning in, and then we'll see how it goes. Looks like we got another demo there. Look, coming in, more coppers, and I believe. Yep, no zombies. This copper is the last one. That's it. That's it. That's all full 64 zombies. Let's just check the bottom here. Yep, as you can see, they're all kind of like just... It's a little bit dark. I do apologize. But yeah, they're just smacking on the walls. They don't really know what to do. They're kind of climbing up on each other. That's it. Challenge over. I'm done, folks. I'm done. I don't even need a grenade. I can just AFK here all night until the morning. But I'm not going to do that, am I? It, it will be a completely boring video. There's no way I'm just going to leave this till 4 o'clock in the morning. So, what I'm going to do instead is... I'm going to start throwing a bunch of grenades. <laughs> so, I'm just going to throw all this down here. Just to show you that I can do this AFK if I really wanted to. But if you wanted to change this into like a grenade base, you could do... I think that's enough grenades, right? Let's just throw this down here see how we do. How much XP do we get? That is 36,000 XP. Almost 37,000. And I killed every single zombie in there. Not one of them is moving in there at all. And then that's 64. And we start all over again. <laughs> They're just going to throw a lot more grenades down there. Here's some more demos. Let's just get out into the camera mode here. I think demos just dropped down, actually. So they're all coming in. Lovely jubbly. Another copper. And we're just going to wait till we get a full 64 
in the pit again. Okay, so they're fully stacked up in here. Uh, and I've loaded up the pit with all the grenades. I'm just going to throw one here just because I can. And see what it looks like. Hopefully, I actually... Ooh! That didn't do that much damage at all. Can we get a few more grenades in it? Whoa, okay. All right. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that just came a blur. <laughs> Let's do that again. Let's just wait for the next load to come in. <laughs> yep, the top is still fine. Nothing's happening at all. Nothing is breaking at all. All the zombies have dropped down. So I hope you forgive me because this is um, because it's so far away. I can't really aim my camera, my body like uh, as I can't really aim my camera uh, the way that I should. So I'm just going to throw it like this in dev mode. Like this. And see if we can see all the zombies explode. What about the other ones? What happens to the other grenades? Are there some more? Oh, you know what? I think what's happened is I think they've started to dig. Yeah. Can we get through here? Can we show... Yeah, they kind of started to dig. It's a little bit dark, but yeah, they kind of started to dig here. Looks like they're starting to make a dent on the outside here, on, on the walls. Yeah, it looks like they're starting to break through, but like I said, I don't care because this whole place is suspended by the wall above that. I mean, it's going to take them a long old time to dig everything out here. And they can't dig underneath because it's bedrock. So they can dig as much as they like. So I'm just going to let them pound away underneath and uh just yeah just let them stew up a little but i think that's everybody now so i'm just gonna throw my dirty grenade down there i loaded preloaded already Sixteen thousand. can we do a bit more damage can we just throw it down there maybe oh there's a few down there we throw this like Oh, why is there delayed in the grenade? That's weird, though, isn't it? I wonder why that's going on. And we're so far away, you can't even hear the grenades. You can just hear the slight pitter-patter of feet running to their death. Oh, that should be closed, by the way. <laughs> oh, we got some doggos from what I can see. All right, we're just going to throw our grenade down there as well. But, um, just like that. And you can see 20k. Amazing. What a chill night. What a chill night. This is, this can be as like, you can throw as many grenades down here as you want. It could be even like just pipe bombs or whatever. Just preload the, uh, the pit with all your explosive. And then when you're happy, just pull the pin, throw a live one down and kaboom. Easy 12k. And just to make things a little bit tastier, we're going to see if we can put some into Demolition Expert. We haven't done any of that at all, so we're just going to make this super, super nasty down here. Just to make it a little bit more efficient with our grenades. So we're just going to throw this down here like that. And then... Throw our live one down. See how it goes. Beautiful. Makes it so much easier. I wonder if pipe bombs are any good. I mean, I cheated a little grenade here, but let's just use some pipe bombs. Just just for a little bit of fun. Pipe. Let's just do that. How many pipe bombs would it take to clear, like, a pit here? Let's just do, like, I don't know, three, four, five? Let's do five. That's three. That's four. And that's five. Pipe bombs don't really bounce too well. Okay, we'll just throw a live one down now. Oh, that didn't even reach. Wait, do I need to throw it directly down? Yeah, I need to throw it directly down. There you go. 23k. Beautiful. Amazing. Let's just check down here. Yeah, they are, they are making a royal mess down here, aren't they? They are burrowing in that corner. They're burrowing in that corner as well. But eventually, at some point, once they finish digging all this out, they're still going to be hovering around the middle because there's no way that they can get to them. They're not going to dig up either. It's, it's going to be really hard for them to dig up upwards. They always kind of dig along and down but anyway let's just throw another one down so just for camera purposes i'm just gonna throw a live one down here as you can see it's fully working let's have a look 41k look at that splattergasm that's amazing <laughs> oh we blew a copper as well <laughs> we clear and you know what and we cleared out the whole area that's that's pretty good 
Actually, being a 3x3 three three base, uh, well, 5x5 five by, five by five base with a 3 hole in the middle, makes it very efficient for, like, grenades because the explosion radius pretty much reaches everybody. So let's just pop our body back up there. Let's just wait for the rest of the Zeds. Let's see where they are. Let's just detach the camera here. Loading in here. In fact, most of the time is wasted just for waiting the zombies to get here. Like, <laughs> this is going to take too long. Can, can't you run any faster, zombies? I want to finish Horde Night. Come on. And as you can see, they're not really doing anything here as well. They're not, like, digging or anything like that. They just literally want to try and get to me. Maybe he's trying to dig, but they're not breaking any of the blocks. They kind of just kneel down, and that's it. And then they're going to go, oh, oh, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't really know what I'm doing. Why is it always the copper, the last one? Go on, drop down, sir. Drop down. There you go. Good job. All right. So they're in there now. Let's light them up. Kaboom. How many zombies do we kill? 15k? That's not too good. It's really smoky down there. Did the fog just fall? I can't see a thing now. And also, why is there a delay on my pipe bomb? That's really weird. Let's throw them down. Can we clear them off in there? I can't see anything. What is going on down there? Can I, like, have a look down here? What's going on? Why is it so foggy? And why is this camera so dodgy? What the fudge? Oh, they're doing... Oh, they're digging. They're, they're, like, way in the corner. They're, like, seven, seven blocks out. So this is five, right? This is six. This is seven. So I kind of need to aim in which corner? Which corner? I need to aim in, like, that corner, which is which orientation? If I go up here... Oh, so it's, like, this corner? All right, we can do that. Let's just reattach our camera. So it's that corner over there. So we need to throw, preload a bunch of pipes over there. Like that. I don't know. Shall we do three, four? Uh, let's do five. Screw it. Five. And then we'll light our pipe. Throw it down. Let's see how many we kill. 30k. Beautiful. You can see the silhouettes of bodies just flying in the air. And there's no way we're going to drop down this as well. This is uh, pretty secure to stand on. So yeah, we're just going to keep preloading. We can't see anything right now. So I think what we'll do is we'll, I'll just keep killing them off during the night. And then we'll come back uh, either when the fog's lifted or when... Horde night's over, really. So for now, I'll just fast track the time so you guys can see what I'm doing. And it is morning. There we go. Oh, the fog is cleared as well. And we're just going to throw our last grenade down. Of the evening. Actually, maybe the second last grenade. Let's see how we're doing. 17k right there. Beautiful. And I think when we throw them, it's going to go into that hole as well anyway. So that's amazing. So we're just going to load up all the corners. Just like that. Just going to wait for the rest of the zombies to come down. This might take a while since they'll start walking now. But as you can see, those zombies down there, they're kind of confused, right? They're kind of just walking around in a circle. And then they walk back the other way, right? If I walk this way, they're going to start walking this way. If I walk this way, they're going to start walking that way. They're, they're kind of confused. So if Actually, if you do this all evening, they're not going to do any kind of like damage at all. But I think that's all the zombies. Let's just throw the last grenade down there. Let's just blow everybody up. Kaboom. 16k, just like that. And let's check the damage down below. Amazing. All the zombies are dead. I don't have to worry about a thing. I can choose not to repair this as well. And if you really wanted the loot, you can basically just put like a ladder all the way down to the bottom. But guys, that's it. This is this is my cheesiest 5x5 underground horde base challenge. If you ask for a silly challenge, you're going to get a silly answer. And this is my silly answer to that silly challenge. So guys... I hope you enjoyed this one. Again, take this, run with it, do whatever you want with it, improve it. Um, yeah, and look at this guy. Just last, to <laughs> just wants to be in the video. Anyway, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Peace.